Hi, I'm talking to you. Do you want to be the next millionaire in your family? If your answer is yes, don't skip this video. Subscribe to our channel, like, and share because doing so will attract good things into your life, starting with the knowledge you'll gain from this video. After all, the only thing that can't be taken away from you is knowledge. Join our family of people determined to change their lives and inspire others. You are super intelligent. Never doubt that. I'm here to show you how capable you are of achieving your goals. So make sure to subscribe, and let's move towards financial freedom together. Follow us weekly here, and you will see the results of your life transformation. Ready to go? The amount of suffering you experience and the pain you have endured make you appreciate happiness and beautiful moments with much more intensity. This whole concept of suffering is truly awful, extremely distressing, but it is a reality we all face. We live on the side of suffering in a familiar box where we know how things will unfold and end. It's a comfortable space of predictability. However, few people are willing to leave this side of the box. Few are willing to face suffering, but when they overcome it, ask them how they feel now. The amount of personal growth they experience in a short period of time is immense. They grow much more than ordinary people because they are willing to step outside themselves. On the other side of suffering lies greatness. We are made to face challenges, and when we reach the top of a hill, we want to stop and appreciate the view. But soon we seek an even higher hill in the distance. It is from the climb that we derive our value, and I say this with precision. Almost every positive emotion we feel is related to a goal. In a way, we want a goal that we can never fully reach. It is as if the goal moves away as we get closer to it. You might think this is frustrating like pushing a rock uphill without end, but it isn't. As you pursue this goal, you rebuild yourself, and your life becomes better, richer, and more abundant. You want your goals to always be ahead of what you are doing, so that you can continuously move towards something more sublime and better. This is the true purpose of life. You are here to live intensely, not just to exist. Every prayer said in moments of pain, every act of love intensified by the experience of suffering reveals the depth of your being. You wouldn't pray so fervently if you hadn't been hurt, and you wouldn't love so deeply if you hadn't suffered. If you hadn't been hurt, you know what it's like to hate someone so you refuse to follow that path. Feelings have nothing to do with this. This is about what I choose to do, and I will do things that I don't want to do. I will do things that aren't easy for me, that aren't natural for me. I will get up and act. You cannot live based on feelings. You cannot let your feelings dictate what you will or won't do today. You need to ignite the fire within to make things happen outside. Let the fire inside drive everything, and only then can you expect everything to fall into place externally. It doesn't work the other way around. You cannot put in a half-hearted effort here and expect a full rewarding life out there. You know it's not easy, my friend. Running 19 kilometers a day, doing over 800 push-ups daily, lifting weights every day, having two jobs, working outside your comfort zone at the club, it's all worth it. You might think it's a matter of physical conditioning or money, but you're wrong. It all boils down to one crucial point, my friend. The mindset of perseverance, regardless of the circumstances. Nothing should be easy. If it's easy, it won't be worth doing. So many people love the chance to find the easy way and celebrate something they never worked hard to achieve. However, it's the challenges, disappointments, and failures that give you more ammunition. When you finally reach where you want to be, if that moment comes, you won't be easily knocked down again. You will know how you feel and understand that you won't stay down for long because you are familiar with the ground. This life is relentless. It's better to keep recovering from all your failures, doubts, and setbacks. It's better to keep fighting, keep getting up. Never surrender, no matter what. This is something we must all agree on. If you have been hurt once, you know how it feels, which means you're prepared to face pain again. One thing about life is that suffering doesn't have an expiration date. It doesn't matter if you are black, white, poor, rich, where you come from, or how you were raised. Suffering will keep coming. It hurts when we lift those weights and strive to achieve a goal. 
It's painful, scary, and uncomfortable. I don't want to do it. I'm sweating, bleeding, crying. I'm suffering. But after all this suffering, there is a reward. We spend so much time thinking about how much it hurts instead of how good the future will be after the pain. After the blood, sweat, and tears, after all the crying, people will applaud. I want to use the pain to my advantage. At what age do you want to have everything under control? For us ordinary people, this takes time because you not only need to mature and grow, but there are also things in life that, if you have a big enough dream, you are not yet the person you need to be to realize that dream. You continue moving towards your dream, doing what needs to be done, but at the same time you realize you are gaining knowledge, experience, and personal growth. You still fight against all the challenges you talk about. Oh my God, this is why I am so relatable. I don't have everything planned out. I'm shoulder to shoulder with everyone else. They look at you and quickly judge your abilities, but they weren't there. They weren't there during the struggle, the sleepless nights, the pain, the trauma, or the tears. They weren't there to lift you up. You did that yourself. So what gives them the right? What gives them the right to judge you? They don't know your true potential, my friend. They don't know what you are capable of, what you can achieve. So you find a way to move forward, a way to keep going because no one can tell you otherwise. You pulled yourself out of the darkness, back into the light. They have nothing to do with your journey, so you keep going. We all go through this. Everyone, including me, faces challenges. And I'll tell you, when you're doing everything you can to be the best version of yourself, there will always be an adversary trying to take that away from you. The best way to overcome this is to have faith. It doesn't matter what you believe in as long as it's something positive that helps you get through the situation. Imagine if you could use pain as fuel. Imagine if you could use pain as a passport. If you could use it to propel you to new heights, to prepare you for the stages and rooms you need to enter, the tables you need to sit at, and the platforms you need to stand on. What if pain could make you better, develop your muscles, make you climb higher, jump farther, and run faster? What if pain could help you? What if all the pain wasn't just pain, but a form of help? I'm feeling unwell right now, my friends, but that can't stop me. In a world where everyone is comfortable and lazy, you are not the only one doing this for yourself. You are not the only one who accepts the challenge. You are not the only one who never gives up. You are not the only one who never stops. You are not the only one who never surrenders. I don't have everything planned out. I'm shoulder to shoulder with everyone else. They look at you and quickly judge your abilities, but they weren't there. They weren't there during the struggle, the sleepless nights, the pain, the trauma, or the tears. They weren't there to lift you up. You did that yourself. So what gives them the right? What gives them the right to judge you? They don't know your true potential, my friend. They don't know what you are capable of, what you can achieve. So you find a way to move forward, a way to keep going because no one can tell you otherwise. You pulled yourself out of the darkness, back into the light. They have nothing to do with your journey. So you keep going. We all go through this. Everyone, including me, faces challenges. And I'll tell you, when you're doing everything you can to be the best version of yourself, there will always be an adversary trying to take that away from you. The best way to overcome this is to have faith. It doesn't matter what you believe in, as long as it's something positive that helps you get through the situation. Imagine if you could use pain as fuel. Imagine if you could use pain as a passport. If you could use it to propel you to new heights, to prepare you for the stages and rooms you need to enter, the tables you need to sit at, and the platforms you need to stand on. What if pain could make you better, develop your muscles, make you climb higher, jump farther, and run faster? What if pain could help you? What if all the pain wasn't just pain, but a form of help? I'm feeling unwell right now, my friends, but that can't stop me. In a world where everyone is comfortable and lazy, you are not the only one doing this for yourself. You are not the only one who accepts the challenge. You are not the only one who never gives up. You are not the only one who never stops. You are not the only one who never surrenders. You are a warrior, forged in the fires of adversity. 
Your scars are not signs of weakness, but of strength. Each battle you face, every obstacle you overcome is another step on the path to greatness. Stand tall, for you are not just surviving, you are thriving. Your spirit is unbreakable, your resolve is ironclad, and your heart is fierce. You are destined for greatness. Embrace your journey, rise above the challenges, and let the world see the true power within you. This is your story, and it is far from over. The best is yet to come.